Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellencies. Uh, I'm going to be giving a few comments that will be coming from Dr. Agnes Kalibata. Apologies for those who may or who were waiting to hear a relatively smoother voice, but bear with me that this hoarse sounding voice will still be able to give Dr. Kalibata's comments. Dr. Kalibata is the president of the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, which is headquartered in Kenya, Nairobi. Uh, Excellencies, uh, Jose Glasdiano, the Director General of, IFA, of FAO, Phil Hogan, European Commission, Commissioner for Agriculture and Road Development, Ambassador Joseph Asako, the Commissioner for Agriculture and Road Development at the African Union, Your Excellency Pierre Dreher, Minister of Agriculture and Road Development in Romania, and uh, Your Excellency Gilbert Hagubo, the President of IFAD. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the protocols observed. I would like to start by congratulating and thanking uh, the commissioners, both of the EU and the African Union, for hosting this wonderful ministerial conference that is giving us this wonderful exposure. Uh, it is exciting to see all of us here and others around coming together to discuss various efforts on how they drive agricultural transformation in respective countries. This third Africa EU ministerial conference offers another important opportunity for us to remind ourselves on the several commitments that we've made before and the implementation that is coming ahead. As you may be aware, the African smallholder farmers produce 80% of the food that is consumed in Africa, and it also constitutes their own livelihoods. So we cannot ignore the smallholder farmers. Your Excellencies, we need a new reality. We need a new reality that where actions match the urgency of transforming agriculture in Africa, which is by far hosts the largest number of hungry people on the continent or globally. Excellencies, we look forward to this ministerial conference to offer another opportunity for us to rethink the approaches to sustain smallholder farmer into agribusiness uh, entrepreneurs. And we will call on all the honorable ministers to speak and adhere to the principles of your leaders in providing direction and coordination to drive the agricultural sector, measuring progress against the targets that have been set by our leaders in both Maputo and in Malabo. Excellencies, as an organization, the Alliance for Green Revolution Africa will reaffirm our commitment to work with all of you, take known solutions, good seeds, fertilizer, <laughs> extension systems, to make sure that we we'll reach all the farmers and supporting their transformation of their livelihoods and they are able to take their children to school, be able to afford the health care. Farmers are our central point of action, but we deliver this through you with many other actors and players like you. We do this because of agriculture transformation is going to result from combined results, efforts, multiple stakeholders, and do not through fragmented uh, implementation interventions. We have committed to, for example, as an organization, to focus our energies on supporting and working stronger on state capability. We believe that working with ministers and ag of agriculture and other related ministries will be able to deliver a stronger uh, uh, impact on the continent. We do recognize that agriculture is the science, never mind an old and very complex one. But we also know that it requires tools, approaches, data, policies, all that means that governments have to be well equipped to deliver. Today, we spend our 40% of our resources to support ministers of agriculture to deliver that particular commitment. We spend the remaining part of resources on working with private sector farmers organization, ensuring that systems work. We also make sure that small and medium enterprises are equipped to take all the services to the smallholder farmers. Excellencies, we commit to bring together insights and experiences that we learn from others and scale up most of these technologies. And we hope that the best practices and successes stories can be scaled up and encouraged by others. We're pleased already working with the African Union Commission, also uh, with the Nepal Planning and Coordinating Agents and Regional Economic Communities and Countries to build on the work that has already been started. And we are aligned to that work religiously. As I conclude, Your Excellencies, on behalf of AGRA and the government of Ghana, let me take the opportunity to announce and invite you to the African Premier Platform for Agriculture, the 2019 Africa Green Revolution Forum. 
that will be taking place on th between 3rd and 6th of September this year. You are all welcome to Ghana in September to showcase the work that you do and be able to deliver what we've committed. I would like to conclude, Your Excellencies, by reiterating our commitment to support and work with the African Union, the EU partnership, because you will see the results of all this work on the extent to which farmers are reducing the poverty, increasing their income, and becoming wealthier. The cost of inaction is too high to afford. Once again, we congratulate you and we congratulate for this partnership. Thank you very much.